Hey everyone, this is Mike with Battlement Defense. Today we're going to be taking the platform from the stored folded position all the way to deployment up on the wall. Okay, this is the way you're going to receive your platform. It's going to be assembled already in the folded position. Um, you may have several of them stacked on a wooden pallet with ratchet straps, but this is a single platform. Um, you're going to have a couple of hooks which will be zip tied we've already removed the zip ties just clip the zip ties and you'll have a baggie that will be zip tied down as well with some pins okay so this is how you'll receive it uh, and begin all right first thing you're going to want to do is determine the thickness of your wall pretty simple he's going to go up the ladder take a tape measure measure the thickness of the top of the wall 13 13 inches, come down, and then we'll put that measurement into the hook system. Once you determine the thickness of your wall, which we've determined this wall is 13 inches thick, then you can take the hook off of the platform, cut the zip ties, pull it out, and make your adjustment from how the hook was shipped to where we want it to be. Obviously tighten these down really good with a wrench and that will be the thickness of your wall. All right, at this point, you're gonna move your hooks and pins out of the way, set them aside. We're going to flip over the platform. You're going to remove the railing retention bolt right here. Set it aside, you're gonna be using it in a second. Now at this point, you're gonna pull up, set the railing over, and now you'll reinsert the railing retention bolt And ensure you tighten this down well with a wrench. And at this point, lean over the entire platform onto the substructure. And now we can remove the pins on the upright. Right. Now that we've removed the pins from the uprights, we're going to swing the uprights into the up position and at this point simply reinsert your pins. At this point you can remove the nut and bolt holding the safety gate to the back railing and you can bring it up and at this point you can go ahead if you choose to mount it to the upright and remember to ensure that the gate portion is on the inside of the upright and you can see this sticker right here that'll tell you to ensure the railing is mounted to this surface on the inside okay um, and then if you choose to utilize one of the pins to allow for quick access onto the platform you can do that and that's what the pins are for but again it's important to ensure that the gate is on the inside surface of this upright all right now it's time to put your hook on the upright first thing you're gonna have to do is remove your pins off of the hook they come off like that, really simple. Take both of them off. Then you're going to line up your hook on the upright. Slide both pins in. And secure the pins. 
And you'll notice there's holes below as well. And this is for when you may have a wall that's slightly sloped. It allows you to lower one hook below the other to account for the slope in the wall. Now that assembly is completed, we're just gonna show you how easily it goes up onto your wall. Once the platform is on the wall, you can make your way up the ladder as he's doing. You'll have to remove the gate as you climb up the ladder to get on the platform. It's really important, as you see him doing, to put the gate on the inside of the upright. That is a safety feature. It's pointed out with stickers to make sure to remind you, but do not forget that's something that's really important. Also, something to point out on the gates, the pins are actually an optional feature to remove and put back, or you can just use the nut and bolts that come with it and have them fixed and just climb underneath as you climb on to the platform. The way this is designed is all of the weight is transferred to the bottom of the platform and into the wall. So even though there's hooks on top of the wall holding uh, it securely to the wall, all of the weight is generally transferred down to the bottom of the platform and there's no concern whatsoever as far as shifting. As far as potential other options, obviously you can put your ammo, your water, all of the things up here with you that you need. The platform has an overhead cover option that is really easy to assemble. It mounts to the outside of the platform, goes up and rapidly provides you cover from the elements, the sun, the rain, etc. is a really good option if you're going to be using it extended amounts of time.